Hi, and welcome to 2019. This is Payroll in Excel 2019. I'm Ken Braverman. Uh, if you haven't seen one of my payroll videos in previous years, this is a payroll program that I have built fully contained within Microsoft Excel. Uh, I end up doing work on it to enhance it so that it can work in any state with any municipality in the United States, all based on the United States tax code. And um, there are several different parts if you're running a small business to running your own payroll and doing it yourself and being confident that you're doing it correctly. It's also, it's actually very easy when you have all the formulas to do all the calculations for you. So I'd like to go through the process of how you would run your own business payroll with this file. Um, this file is a $50 template actually. There's a, a weekly version, a bi-weekly version, and a semi-monthly version. This video will be going over the semi-monthly version where they pay twice a month. Uh, but there are different versions of the file. And if you're interested in purchasing it, you can go to KenBraverman.com or follow the links below in the video, um, below in the description, and uh, go from there. But we're going to go through filing W-2s. We're going to go through filling out a 941, which is your quarterly report here, um, quarterly submission, and paying your 941 tax, either at the end of every pay period or at the end of every month. Um, going through everything all in this video, there's a tab in here for everything you need to do. Sometimes there's filing workers comp, there's unemployment as well. There's about four or five things that we're going to go through that this generates automatic reports for. And we're not going to go through every state in the, in, uh, in the union. Um, we're not going to go through any states actually in this video. We'll be doing separate videos for each state as each state kind of has an independent file for the state as well. But if you're in a state that does not have any state tax, for example, Nevada, where I am right now, Nevada, we are in Nevada. It is Las Vegas, Nevada. And this file is something monthly for Nevada. So let's go over it right now as fast as we can. It always goes longer than I think. I'm going to try to get this under 20 minutes, um, and then we'll just take it from there as people have questions. But I want to go over what's new for 2019, what the new rates are, and how to file everything. So if you are running a business in Nevada, uh, you're, there's going to be an unemployment wage base in Nevada. It's $31,200 this year. I have that down there. They're going to assign you a unemployment rate, and there's like a supplemental 0.05% rate or something. I think your total ends up being like another 0.05, 0.05 over. You're going to have employees. They're going to have numbers of allowances. Okay, we're just going to put in some sample employees over here. We're going to have people who are married or not married. There are no state exemptions because we're working in Nevada, so we don't have to worry about any of this stuff right here. But in other situations where you might have a state, uh, we would have states and state exemptions. Let's do me, Mr. Ken Braverman. I'm not going to put in social security numbers, but you could. You could also put in addresses over here, you know, whatever. Las Vegas. Right, whatever, whatever. Um, you can fill out all, all this information. Let's do somebody else who might be in Las Vegas. How about Penn Gillette? I'll call him Penn Teller. Penn and Gillette. They're living at the Rio, right? Um, we're going to start filling in information about these employees and their Period. This is how easy this is. You only have to enter in things in generally one spot in this file, and then everything is going to carry forward and make it really easy for you to do everything you need to do. So let's talk about, say, some hours here in 2019. Let's say that for the first few, you know, first few days of the of the month, I did some work, and maybe I worked eight-hour days. Um, Actually, let's say I work like 25 hour days, <laughs> just because we're going to try to create some big paychecks. Maybe we had some overtime. Maybe we did some certain type of work. You can do different type of work. I have to set up these things called tickets. If you run a business where you have people, say, going out and doing different types of jobs where they get paid a certain amount based on the job that they do, we have these things called tickets where you could say, um, uh, you know, somebody like Penn and Teller is going to do a performance here that's $50,000, so I called it a performance. Maybe he'll do a TV show for $20,000. Maybe he'll do a radio for 1000 whatever it is. Um, so when we get to Penn and Teller right here, which I'm going to put them down for in a, in a couple days for themselves for this, this month in January here. Let's give them some days. Let's say that... Penn and Teller do a, do a performance, they do some TV, they do some radio, they probably do a lot of performances. And they make a, a ton of money here. <laughs> you see what's going to happen. With, I wanted a really big tax rate just for fun. 
Maybe they even have some hours here. So you can do anything you want. You can put clients in here, say maybe this radio is KKKCY, whatever. There's there's all kinds of different things. The performance is at the Rio, performance is at the Rio. So all types of different things you can do here and have this data roll in. So, so you've got some hours and some work for some employees. Well, now let's talk about this first pay period that we're working here. So now we're into the pay period sheet. This is the crux of kind of where all the formulas and all the stuff that's compliant with the tax code is all here. Uh, and it's buried in, in many, many different columns, tens of columns here. Now within here, all we need to really show are things that you want to work with um, because your, your business may not be that complicated and maybe you only have certain types of ways that you pay people. This is totally flexible and depending on your business, we may add or reduce different columns depending on different types of, of wages, compensation, deductions or withholdings that your business might have that can go on infinitely we won't get stuck talking about all the different possibilities we're just going to talk about the main ones that most businesses have so here with the first pay period January 15th we have our two employees we've got Ken and, and Penn and Teller right and you could do some things like maybe Penn and Teller they want to they want to withhold an extra like five thousand dollars from their federal withholding this pay period because they're getting paid a lot of money they're getting paid like one hundred forty two thousand um, dollars. We also need to put in an hourly rate for people, right? I'm only making fifty dollars an hour. Penn and Teller making a thousand dollars an hour, right? Uh, so you can put in any, any information here and everything's going to fill itself out. It's that easy. You're basically done with the pay period at that point. You could go look at the pay stub and say. Well, what did Ken Braverman make in this first pay period based on my apparently 75 hours and a thousand dollar ticket? I get fifty-five hundred dollars of gross wages. I don't have any withholdings. So here's my federal tax. Here's my Social Security. Social Security is six point two percent of this uh, of your gross wages of your FICA wages, which we'll talk about in a second when I get into some formulas. Um, there's Social Security and Medicare. Those are things that are going to go be part of your 941 tax, which goes to the government. Uh, and then there's uh, reimbursements, which we didn't have. There's no state tax in Nevada. And here you have a net check amount. And when you add all that up, it equals 5,500. And then you can always change and toggle your pay periods here, and you can see that things move. Um, the year-to-date totals over here grow, and, and there's nothing in this new period yet. Well, let's look at, at a bigger check, and then we'll talk, start to look at a report. So look at Penn and Teller's check. It's enormous. Their check here is $142,000 for one pay period. So they're making millions of dollars a year at that, at that rate. And they would pay $56,000 in tax You know, here. You can see that something will happen to their Social Security wages. Actually, that might even be broken if it pays more than $147,000 in the first pay period. We have to see if that even works because um, sometimes it breaks. There's a maximum in Social Security uh, FICA wages, it's called, meaning the first $132,900 $132, of your wages, that, that beginning amount, that is, not, um, that is subject to the 6.2% employee and employer. Both have to pay a 6.2%. Percent, uh, they uh, that that first hundred thirty two thousand nine hundred is subject to that, but anything over one hundred thirty two thousand nine hundred is not. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna change something to one eighteen times two one three something like that eighteen. There we go. So. What this means is that, do another performance there, give them 100,000, that's fine. Um, the reason why I wanted to do that is we're going to go look at our 941 report that you have to file every quarter now. I'm going to show you what, what's going on. So say we had gone through an entire pay period, we'd enter in everyone's hours every day here, and then when you go over to your pay period sheet, you can unfilter this at any time and look all at, look at all the pay periods of all the employees and everything and see like we needed to put in an hourly rate here for for Penn, Penn Gillette here in the second time period. It'll tell you what to do things but you can see you just enter in information in the areas that are light blue and the other ones that are dark are all formulas. So you look at something like a 941 that you have to file. This is um, uh, this is a quarterly filing that everyone has to make. All you have to do is now click the quarter here so all you have to do is go up here and choose the quarter, Q1, 
and everything's going to fill itself out. It's going to tell you what your wages are, what the federal tax was withheld. It's not going to tell you how many active employees are there. You have to be like there were two. It, it makes you do that manually, but you can type that in manually. Um, and then it's going to show you how much you had hopefully sent to the government during this time period if you paid your taxes on time like every pay period said you should. If you don't want to look at this by quarter, you could also look at it by pay period. And voila, you're going to have uh, this thing update each pay period as you go. It will show you what your 941 is. Okay? And we can also adjust this if you pay uh, our semi-weekly depositor, as it's called, where you have to deposit right after the pay period. You have multiple deposits throughout the quarter. We can add something that's called the 941 Schedule B to show you the exact dates of those deposits so that you can put them on your Schedule B. But it's this easy. You just transpose this right onto the, the PDF 941, and it, you know all you do is just change the quarter, right, and once you have all your data in here. We also have... Um, different reports you can run on types of work that people are doing because you're entering in all this daily hour information. So you can see what different employees might be doing and how they're making their money in the days that they're working, right? Showing that it looks like the, there's a lot of performance money for Penn & Teller, right? According to this, you can, you can always switch this stuff around. It's, it's endless, really. You can say, oh, this is, this is our expenses by the different types of, different types of events, right? 2,000 on radio, 150,000 on performance, 20,000 on TV. You can mess around with all, all your information. You also have reports for unemployment. This is your state unemployment report for Nevada. It's based on that rate we had over here, the, the, the rate based on the taxable wage base. So it's going to give you your gross wages, your excess wages that are not subject to the UI tax, what your UI tax is going to be. You've got the same thing called federal unemployment tax or FUDA. Same idea. Here's a report that just refreshes when you right click inside. You just do on any of these reports, you just right click and refresh. It's automatically going to give you the numbers which will go right onto those reports. Same thing for W 2 information at the end of the year. You're going to have different categories for W 2s and your employees, and it's going to break it all down so that you can go to use business services online, is the online Social Security Administration website where you can go and log in online and it's you know, transpose this stuff, or even you can transpose it, right, type it right onto the W-2 and the, and the columns that are appropriated, and um, and then file that stuff online. So you've got your subtotals are here. This is going to total out to your um, uh, to your W-2, W-3 total. Um, you can pay contractors through this thing and have 1099 totals as well. It's really endless um, what you can do, but it, it's it's been running this for. Uh, gosh, like eight or yeah, over eight years now, I think. And um, everyone likes to get this file renewed for the year because it really does make things easy and takes the headache out of payroll. All the formulas are here, and, and you can always dig in and change formulas around if you need to or if you need to override things. You can see here's like kind of a list of all the big formulas that are in here. Uh, there's tons and tons of stuff. And this is one that doesn't even have state tax. The ones that have state tax are even bigger. And you can see that like the formula for federal withholding is here. The federal withholding formula only went up um, a little bit for cost of living adjustments or inflation or whatever. And um, so the formula looks like this. I'll, I can be pasting the formula for weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly. I have um, a, a whole spreadsheet with all this that I'm willing to share with everyone so that you can paste this formula into your own file if you just want to figure out what kind of tax and whether single or married, and you know what your wages that are subject to federal withholding are, how would you have a formula that could do this? I will give you the, the code that does this, so you don't have to type it out. Um, what else is there? I don't have workers' comp in this version, but we can add it. It's really endless. If you're interested in, in uh, buying a version, like I said, it's a $50 template, and then there may be custom work that I can charge you on top of that if you have other things that you want to do that you don't feel comfortable doing yourself or that really requires some structural adjustment to the file. But um, you've got pay stubs, you've got reports, um, you have pivot tables for doing analysis of your, of your business and anything you want to add into this daily hour sheet which you really can get uh, an immense amount of data about how you pay your people and what they do. And um, I don't know, it's 2019 and, and I've already sent out about 10 of these to different clients and um, it's just getting better and better and better and easier to use. So um, I hope uh, you contact me if you're interested and may payroll be easy because it should be.